Oh, hello to people, hope you're doing well. Now, this video today is an extra meme review from footage which I recorded back in April for this meme review right here. Basically, I did more reviews of autism memes and I'm putting them into this video today because who doesn't like meme reviews, especially autism meme reviews, which is something that I do regularly on the channel. And if you like that sort of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. But anyway, here's the extra autism meme review from back in April, March when I recorded it. Basically, I have long hair. I look like a Justin Bieber ripoff, but he ripped me off and I'm always gonna say it. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I've just seen this one on my emails, and oh my god, this is so... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, okay, right, I need to chill, I need to chill. <sighs> my head during a vital exam, which could cost my future. Wow! Oh my god. I'm kind of curious as to why DBT put this in. I'm gonna guess that when you are autistic, I guess, you know, you kind of have this mindset, especially when you're in school, like, you know, the exams that you have, GCSEs in the UK, you know, you think they're the be all and end all, you know? Um, I mean, I certainly thought that when I did my exams in 2008, and yes, I am that old, before you say anything, and for the older people in my audience, I know I'm very, very young. There we go. I've pleased everyone because I'm a people please. <laughs> I've been there where, you know, the teachers kind of put it in your minds that it's the most important thing in the world that you get these GCSEs. And although GCSEs are important, you know, because it is something that employers look at. But what I'm going to say to the young people in my audience is, you know, if you're stressed out about exams, don't worry. Honestly, do not worry, you know, you can only do the best that you can do. But also, if you don't get the results that you want, like, to get onto the particular course that you want to get on, you know, don't worry. I'm pretty sure, especially in the UK as well, you can resit your GCSEs, you know? And I think, as well, you'll find it easier to do. Like, for me, personally, when I went to college, I had to redo my GCSEs because when I was at school, I got given, like, basically the basic paper and I didn't get a C grade on a lot of them. But yeah, I like this meme actually, mainly because it's just brought back so many memories for me and just, it's just reminded me actually, you know, not to stress about stuff. Like even as an adult, you know, we stress about stuff which we shouldn't really stress about, you know, like little tiny things. So I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I quite like this meme to be honest. I don't know why. It just has resonated something with me, but do you agree? Do you not agree? Use the comments. Tell me how you would rate these memes out of 10. I would really be interested to know. But I do have another meme for you. But before we get into those memes, make sure you hit the like button if you like this type of content. So the next meme, I can see already it's Morpheus. I mean, <laughs> okay. What if I told you most autistics are nothing like Rain Man, oh my god. Now I would hope as an autistic person, you know, who does autism content every single week, that, you know, people know that this is not the gold standard, that Raymond from Rain Man is not the gold standard for what autism is in real life. But I think also as well, the autistic community has this tendency to, you know, keep bringing up Rain Man as if it's like current fact that, you know, people think that Rain Man's, you know, the main topic of conversation when it comes to autism. And it's just like, I don't know how true that is. Autistic people are not like Rain Man, you know, um, we are a very diverse group of people, a diverse group of individuals with lovely, lovely brains and who I appreciate very, very much, you know, for the way that we interact with others, for the way that we promote and talk about our autism and stuff. You know, I do appreciate, you know, the autistic community for what it is and it can be beautiful at times, but when autism is represented in media, just in general, you know, the thing that I tried to think about is that, it can't represent everyone. You know, this one autistic character can't represent the whole of autism because that is just crazy, you know? And I think also it's important to highlight that, you know, even the autistic community cannot expect that and should not expect that either. 
you know, I think obviously the thing that I would like to say is obviously good research and, you know, good intentions behind the character being created, as well as good consultation from autistic people themselves, of course, you know, that's kind of the thing that I think about. But when that's not done, and when there's like a load of stereotyping and all of this sort of stuff, this leads to conversations like this one where I show this meme on the internet and we get to talk about Rain Man. Like, Rain Man in itself is not a good film for autism representation. As a film, just a film without the autism, I, I think it's all right actually, it's not too bad. But for me, the autism side of it is kind of the main part of the conversation for me and it's just like, I can't really watch it because of that. With this meme, I'm, I'm gonna give it a five. I feel kind of neutral about it, you know, and also as well, I mean, Rain Man, that, again, that's a whole topic in itself, really. <laughs> okay, so here's the next meme. Me pretending I'm listening to someone even though I'm just thinking about <laughs> insert. <laughs> Special interest here. I actually did that. I actually talked about this in uh, one of the Autism Awareness Week videos that I did. It was the positive autism traits. Um, like, I was reacting to this person's video, basically. And they were talking about how, you know, you appreciate, you know, just the things that you're interested in and don't really get small talk. Like, I do kind of understand people's concerns and, you know, kind of annoyances with the video that I react to in the sense that it did perpetuate stereotypes. But anyway, when I was talking about this video, I did bring up Pokemon and the fact that I really love Pokemon and stuff. And it's just, this just, is just funny. This is just me. Now, when it comes to my friends and family and all that sort of stuff, like, I do listen. I do try to listen, but when I'm just in my own head when I'm thinking about the next Pokemon thing that's coming up or you know I'm just my mind is just distracted elsewhere and kind of fixated on the things that I'm interested in it's hard I find it quite hard to kind of come away from that and come back to the conversation though I do try my best honestly I do do try when it comes to special interests honestly especially when we're burnt out as well and we're just I don't know we just want to do the thing that makes us feel comfortable safe all of those sorts of things special interests do take over they really really do and actually besides Pokemon I've actually started to game again like my fiance and me we purchased the switch we're gonna get some games for that I purchased Final Fantasy X and X2 on Steam. So basically I've been playing that on my laptop and honestly, it's been so, so nice. Honestly, just doing something for me, doing something that I like to do. And you know, Final Fantasy X, as some people may know, is for me one of the best games of all time. The story is amazing. The music is sensational. And I just want to relive that again, because as a kid, I didn't appreciate it as much as I do now, and I didn't actually complete the game, so I want to actually go out of my way, complete the game, you know, in full, you know, maybe not all of the, you know, post-game stuff, but, you know, just try my best to complete everything, you know, and that, for me, is a special interest, you know, getting so engrossed in something that you just want to do everything in it, and for me, that's Final Fantasy X, that's, you know, Pokemon, this meme, DBT, you've done it again, my friend. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 because I don't think there is actually a perfect meme. Uh, not to me, at least. I mean, if people wanna try, send me your memes at the below email address. So if you want the autism meme reviews to continue, send your memes in, hit the like button so I know you guys are enjoying it. Stay you, stay indie, and I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Take care.